the four-step path to mastery. Hey everyone, Christopher Yax here, founder of Yax Yoga Concepts and Hot House Yoga. And today I want to talk to you about a framework that we use to understand uh, the different levels of attaining skill. The fourth stage is mastery. At that master level, the way you get from just practicing, practicing, practicing to get to that mastery level is full commitment. It's commitment to highlighting your weakness. Commitment to highlighting your weaknesses. There, this practice, master, this is the biggest barrier right here. Why is it the biggest barrier? Because a couple of reasons. One, for me, what I saw in the martial arts world is that people got to a certain level and they capped out because they thought they knew. They, their mind was like, oh, I know, I know. It's so funny, you come into yoga and, and uh, there was uh, one day a woman came in very first time and after class she came out and she was like, I'll be back. There's a couple that I didn't do, I didn't get right, but most of them I got, so I'm pretty good on those, but I'll come back again because there's like three or four poses that, and I'll just like, I need like two more classes, then I'll get it. I'm like, whoa, like think about if that's the framework, the mindset that you're going into like your life, like wait, you got it? No, you didn't, you, there's a process. So this hurdle, right, how do you get from practicing into that mastery? It's what Daniel Cole called targeting your struggle. Like reach for something. Right. See where you got, see where you wanted to go, and then evaluate that. What was missing? Because without that information, you don't know what to focus on. Right? Because when, like, intuitively, it's like we're just going to focus on what we're good at. I'm really good at this, so I'll just keep doing that. But to get to that next level, to jump over that practice and get into that mastery stage, the, the key element is to know what you're not good at, what you're missing. This is how we've taken teachers uh, in our teacher training students and gotten them to be really, really good teachers. Like if you go to their class in their first class, you don't feel like they're a beginner teacher because the way in which we're, we're training them is to focus on what you're not good at, to focus on the parts of the sequence that you don't really have it down and to highlight that because then if you shore that up, all of a sudden in short time, you're gonna be able to get to this feeling of mastery, which is again, just a commitment to highlighting your weaknesses so that you become this well-rounded, expert in that field of study. And then what ends up happening, I remember the day I got my full instructorship and the day I got my black belt, I was like, I don't feel like a master. But the difference is the person who's a black belt, the person who gets that full instructorship, the person who ends up being a teacher is the person who just didn't stop showing up. They came in, they were there day in and day out, day in and day out. John's going to go turn off his phone. So here's the takeaway. Whatever you're passionate about, see where you are in this level. Are you just learning and you're like, you have that insatiable appetite to just acquire information. You're like Googling everything, staying up late at night and you're, or and you're like, and this is kind of like, it's fluid. Like you're practicing, you're learning, you're practicing, you're learning, you're practicing, didn't work out right. You got to go back to the drawing board and see, ah, oh, maybe that's it. But to commit to getting from here to here is a commitment to being a learner. That's like the core of it, to knowing that, hey, there's some things that I'm not good at, let me focus on them so that I can jump that hurdle and become that master, to feel like you're at that mastery level, which again, is just time and energy, effort, day in and day out, the daily practices. And guess what? It's worth it when it's something you love, when it's something you're passionate about, when it's something that you would be doing if everything else, nothing else mattered, this is what you'd be doing. And so I hope this helps, and uh, thank you for your time. Lots of love.